I presented phase uh, three studies of l rubicin in soft tissue sarcoma. As we all know, doxorubicin is a sheet anchor drug in this cancer, but l rubicin is a new anthracycline which has shown significantly higher efficacy and no cardiac toxicity. Patient has been, have been administered up to 10,000 milligram of doxorubicin in form of the linker. Surprisingly, we also did not see any hair loss. Efficacy was significantly higher in L sarcoma, and, which is liposarcoma and leiomyosarcoma, and no cardiac toxicity. I hope if the drug gets approved, which is likely, under 505.2b, then this will be a new anthracycline with no cardiac toxicity and new standard of sarcoma therapy. Uh, we are also presenting ifosomide and aldox rubicin study in the poster form tomorrow. Uh, my name is Kumar Sankhala from uh, Sarcoma Oncology and I have been a uh, co-principal investigator on this study uh, of aldox rubicin, uh, phase 3 clinical trial. I have been part of this drug uh, uh, from phase 1 onwards. Uh, in oncology, we have a pursuit of finding new drugs, uh, but we always forget that there are drugs which are many of the chemotherapies which works wonderfully. Uh, I think we have to keep our pursuit to find the new treatments, but we should also not forget that the treatments we have already can also be improvised. So aldoxorubicin is one of the improvised chemotherapy uh, from aldoxorubicin. It is a safe drug, has been as efficacious as doxorubicin. The phase three clinical trial of aldoxorubicin has been done in sarcoma. Uh, it's a heterogeneous group of tumors, and we may not see always the ideal results which we like to see in a homogeneous tumor like a breast cancer, colon cancer, or lung cancer. But the available data uh, from the phase two and phase three clinical trial of aldoxorubicin suggest that this is a very good drug. And I look forward for this drug to be available for not only our sarcoma patients, but any other indication where doxorubicin is used, because this is one of the safer chemotherapy. And this is a prime example that we should not forget the efficacy of other drugs we have and how we can make it safer and more efficacious.